season. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And that makes it 7 0 Dolphins. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. down. Lord. Left side here. That's the tight end fan. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, 49ers. DJ Chark, his second touchdown on the season. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point good by Prater, and we are tied at seven. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone, and he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The All-Pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You may also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Target to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the All-Pro linebacker. It's Von Miller. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. On first and ten, Lloyd. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hodges. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going, runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Joe Mixon, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Derek Carr getting ready to go again on offense. 
And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. From the 31, Carr. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. Pardon me, sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Carr, screenplay, Anderson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Throwing on first down is Carr. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. It'll be a gain of four, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And the ball is knocked out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Throwing to start the drive. Lloyd completes it to Fant on the right side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 22. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Throwing on first down. Lloyd, and it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Noah Fant, his third touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers add on to their lead. Three weeks, three touchdowns. It's obvious they've looked his way early and often in the red zone this year. And that's usually a pretty good place to find a tight end in the NFL. Prater for the extra point. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Derek Carr getting set and ready to go again on offense here. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Alec Ogletree. 
Gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Carr completes it. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 34. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, the coach. Uh, we get slap happy up here sometimes. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Here's Carr. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? You go with a bigger guy to try and use size. That go with a go with a quicker guy and sometimes you even get out quick there. Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Is this intercepted? It is! It's intercepted! Picked off by Eli Apple, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. Hey, it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Gardner, I think that play echoed a short yardage run. I know they're back to get their own goal line, but when they stack the deep... And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Zadarius Smith came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And this is caught to Marius Thomas. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw. Lloyd. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
operating from the gun. Lloyd. Over the middle, that's caught by Ross. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And the 13-year man puts it through, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach half to, and we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Go! 50 play. I'm trying to collect. On first down, Lloyd. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and two. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it's so hard sometimes. No, no, it's not easy. Because when they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. 11 more on that one, and another first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Again, it's Mixon. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush would just tee off on your court. Touchdown, 49ers! Noah Finn, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers had six to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. A chance for us to look now at this 49ers defense. And a big reason they have the lead right now as we see on this. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. 
Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good stuff on Diggs. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Stephon Diggs, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big... And a big loss here as he's taken down. So trying to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Lloyd. Wide open receiver complete. And I think the ball's out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good. Stephon Diggs. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 88 yards. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Well, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions. Some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. To throw again. Lloyd, eluding the pressure right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Now, that was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. Yeah, I saw that lane start to develop. Boom. He took it down. And a loose football. And yeah, this is picked up by the Dolphins. Dolphins 20. 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. Now they'll run on the draw. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. From the 35 on second down, Carr open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Carr now five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Stephon Diggs. His third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Dolphins take advantage of the turnover and put up six. It's been quite the game for under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after them, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Credit the tackle that time to Deshaun Hand. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He's got his tight end fan. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Antoine Woods. Gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Looking to throw. Oh, no. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that takeaway partner right there that's a combination of coaching execution and absolute belief because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go ah, this thing's pretty well done but they still thought to themselves if we could make a play we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it and that's exactly what they did an ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down Car now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now Carr and caught right side green, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing now is Carr, and the grab by Croft. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right, got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. They'll look to throw. 
Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. He's back to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Into the red zone. It's Carr. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. This defense needs a big play. The worst play. He can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Back to throw. Hey, normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but that's adopted in this case. He's a stack sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Carr now on third and goal. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. They're very close to a turnover there in the end zone. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And you can just about put this one in the win column for the 49ers. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. So the victory here for San Francisco, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. Of, but now it's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for San Francisco, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for Miami, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.